Hey Zwifters, welcome back to another recon. This time we're in Watopia. It's the Legends and Lava course, 27.4 kilometers, 352 meters of elevation. We've got three segments. We've got Titans Grove, the JWB Sprint, and then to finish, we've got the Volcano Climb. So something for everyone onto this course. So let's get straight on with the recon. You know what? I'm going to move this to you because it's red hot. Someone made a comment, said I didn't drink enough tea in these recons like I did last year. So there you go, bottoms up. But I haven't got any chocolate hobnobs. For those international viewers there, please check out what a chocolate hobnob is. A great post-ride snack, I may add. Let's get on with this course. All right, so let's have a look at the course in a bit more detail. As I've said, we've got these three segments to contend with. We've got this VO2 effort up Titans Grove, this 900 meter section with a 6% average gradient before we roll down the other side and head towards this long sprint, 380 meter sprint, the JWB sprint. At least it always feels long to me. And then again, we've got a bit of a rolling section through the SEs before we get on to that, what, six to eight mini effort, dependent on your category, up the volcano climb, which I may add, some of which or most of which is draftable. So again, plenty to look out for on that volcano climb. In terms of power-ups, really well balanced, three great power-ups. We've got the draft, we've got the feather, and we've got the aero. So again, something for everyone, and hopefully you're gonna pick up the right power-ups at the right time, dependent on your role in the team on this particular course. In terms of bike choice, well, it's rider's choice for this one. Again, dependent on where your strength is, or where your weakness is, or your focus as a rider. If you think you can survive this course on a climber's bike in preparation for that final volcano climb, then that's what I would do. That's what I'm gonna try and do, because if we look at the points, the majority of the points are gonna be on that final volcano climb. With the fastest through segments, the first across the line and finish line points available on that final segment. But if your role is to sprint and maximize the sprint, both on the JWB sprint, but also the very sprintable Titans Grove segment, then absolutely an aero bike should be the choice. And then just accept you're gonna try and hold on for as long as possible up that volcano climb. Enough of me talking, we're gonna get on course in just a second. Don't forget, once we've rolled through the course on this first occasion, I will play the whole route again at the end of this video. And also, don't forget, we've got the recon notes. They're there, so share, download, use them to your heart's content. I've left a link in the description down below. And while you're down there, why not give that like button a good smash, because it really helps the channel. And maybe think about subscribing to the channel as well. I can still see that 50% of you watchers are not subscribed. Why not? What have I done? What have I said? Let me know. But if you don't mind, it really helps the channel, give it a subscribe too. Now, enough of me talking. Let's get on course and take a look. So we're gonna leave the pens, take a right. We're in the desert starting this time and head towards Titans Grove. Now at kilometer 0 0.6, we do take this left-hand turn into Titans Grove and we start this rolling up and down section through Titans Grove. Bear in mind, it is very, very rolling up and down all the way here. We don't actually start the Titans Grove segment until kilometer 4.1. It's 900 meters long, it's 6.6% .6 average gradient, and it is one for those VO2 punches out there. So think just over a minute for this particular segment. First across the line, and the fastest through segments available here, and I'll let this just roll through for a second. So again, just be cautious as you roll over Titans Grove that we're gonna descend the other side. And again, it is pretty rolling, it can be pretty fast. Some riders will be tempted just to push on the other side here. 
Equally, we may see riders just sitting up and cruising around ready for that next sprint, but you've got to always remain attentive on these courses with so many different groups and so many different team tactics that could play out. All right, so it's fairly rolling between Titans Grove and the villas here, and we're going to start to approach the Italian villas around about 16 kilometer mark. And this is where the sprint segment starts, this JWB sprint. This is a long sprint, or it always feels like a long sprint. 380 meters, it is pan flat. The finish is a little bit blind around this left-hand bend, as you're going to see as we slow the video down here. All right, so in terms of distance markers, the sprint segment starts at kilometer 16.5 and the banner comes at So again, immediately after the sprint, just stay switched on because we're going to roll straight over the bridge and straight into the S's. This rolling up and down section that takes us back towards the volcano or Watopia. All right, once we get to the other side of the S's, we're going to take a left and head towards the volcano and that infamous volcano climb. We're going to roll through the tunnel. We've got a little section where we do cut through the volcano first of all here, but the segment doesn't start officially until kilometer 20.9. This is one of my favorite segments in game in terms of the volcano climb. It's not long enough to be a full FTP, but it's long enough to really hurt and cause some lactic acid build in the legs, but it also rewards those who know how to draft and surf those wheels. You've got the first section, which starts at kilometer 20.9, and then it's at kilometer 22.4, where you go into the volcano here, you get a bit of respite and the road flattens off. It's about surviving that first section, surfing those wheels, holding on to that lead group. Then you, like I say, you will get a bit of respite. It's when you come out of the tunnel at kilometer 23, where you've got that final 1600 meters there to dig in, break those riders around you and push on to the end. Bear in mind, in the final 100 meters, the road does pitch up to nine, 10% in places, but there's lots on the line here. First across the line, fastest through segment, and finish line points here at the finish line at kilometer 24.7. So that's it, that's the course. As I said, one of my favorite courses. Don't forget, you can find all the recon notes down in the description below. Download, share, whatever you wish. Also, don't forget that the recon rides. We've got the Team Italy recon ride that you can do over the weekend. My choice would be the Ravecon also that Sunday evening at 5 p.m. No doubt they'll have some kind of well-known elite or celebrity rider there to give you some additional tips and insights. Have a great week's training. I look forward to seeing you next week for the final recon of this current season, depending on which category, depending on which recon video you watch, or you might just want to watch Watch 2 for the fun of it. Have a great week and ride on.